might be there might be a switch. That's my fault. Okay. Um, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. That's why I checked before we take Yeah, that. thank you. Yeah, because that's Do I have to get you guys to sign waivers if I have a YouTube-ish kind of camera? No, that's fine. So you can write on here after this is over all the negative things you want the CA team to know about me, which is probably very true. Um, so I'll go through the rankings. I'll start, we'll say who got one through four, and then we'll start from four, three, two, one, how you could have done better. Some general overall things to keep in mind for the debate. Uh, and then if you like have any other additional questions or comments that you want to know from us, we will be more than willing to talk to you. Because I'm not going to spend too much time on specificity of individuals, more just like general things so that we can get you guys what we think is the most important thing, which is lunch. Um, so uh, we saw this as a top half debate. We have one going to opening opposition, we have two going to opening government, we have three going to closing opposition, and we have four sadly going to closing, um, or, or closing government, closing op. Uh, told you, completely incompetent. Um, so the reason we think um, closing op ended up being the four is that we think that your arguments, most of the ones that are most well developed, are probably arguments that we either explicitly or implicitly already agree with from opening opposition. And so your extension arguments that try to become unique are not well developed and or in comparison to the rest of the debate as influential as to where the debate is at. So I think what you suffered from was a little bit of not just rep uh, re repeating what you kind of hear from opening, but getting yourself out of the debate a little bit too much. Sometimes closing out teams, their, their arguments are almost so unique that they're not like where we really compare them with everyone else that they've already said stuff. So I think what you need to really work on is comparatively where are you in the debate when you're the last speakers in conjunction with like what's already happening in the debate. We think that your value of money argument, which is what I thought initially you all were trying to go for, ends up being a little bit disconjoined in like the argumentation between both speakers as to like what that looks like. And I think also the other, I guess, unique argument that you all bring uh, to the debate would be like this, what happens with people who don't just fall into like certain categories of like I am African American or I am like um, Native American. I think those are kind of underdeveloped a little bit and they're not necessarily like, I don't know where I gauge that and other harms that I see in the debate. And so when I, most of your stuff that I hear that I agree with, I already kind of agree with from opening. I don't know how we grant you a lot of like weight in the in the debate round. So I think I just be a little bit. If anything, if you if you think they take a lot of your stuff, just try to bring just a lot more nuance for like your extension and be like, we agree with what they said, but we think they miss certain points th that really affect like these groups of people. So maybe do after analysis in a different, more uh, specific way than maybe opening has given you, and then like, gives you a little more depth for what you can talk about instead of maybe trying to like just throw something out there that you think could be interesting, but probably is lost already where the debate's at. Does that make kind of make sense? So we think this was also, just in general, before I continue on, a really great debate. We really enjoyed it. We thought the arguments that were made were pretty pretty good. So these are just things to kind of look at. So if you would have done that, we think that you probably could have taken over um, a closing uh, government, because if you almost want to tow, I sometimes they tell people, like, tow the offline a little bit more, just kind of, like, lean in more to it. And the more nuanced, we probably on face would have thought it could be, like, not like maybe a gut sweep, but it could put you into the three of like, well, okay, we already agree, but nuance, good, new extension, good depth, okay, like here's like, you do enough to get a point in the round. So the discussion we probably spent the most time on was like the two and the three, and where we think like you all fall in the, in the round, and we think that a few strategic errors happen from closing opposition, which one we think came, and you said it yourself, in your member speech of like, oh, I'm sorry I got so late to my positive material. And we think that it's underdeveloped and under um, comparatively uh, underdeveloped in the sense that we don't know how to compare it in a, in a more strategic way against what we hear from opening up. You're obviously strategically smart in dealing, especially I think in the whip speaker, with doing a lot more rebuttal from opening up because you know that that's the team you have to try to take out. Like that's the team that you know is probably like the most developed in the round. But we think that even if, like, we think the whip does a good job, we need to hear more of that from the member speech of like direct, the rebuttal that you did is not that it's bad, but it's just not in direct comparison to what we hear out of opening opposition. It's like, semi-related, but you're not doing, like, this is what they say and this is how it doesn't make sense. And even in your, the beginning of your extension, the first, like, 15 to 20 seconds is basically reiterating what we kind of hear from opening, and then you get to your new, you, I think, more unique extension about political parties and why you have the ability now to make change. 
And because you leave that in the last minute, it's hard for us to kind of like give you a lot more weight. And then even in the whip, it's not also developed nearly as enough. So it's almost strategically you have to make sure that if she is underdeveloped in her extension, then you mean that the first thing you have to do is kind of re-bring that into the debate and show us where you kind of like land on that. So I think those kind of errors, and also the intersectionality argument, I think was what almost kind of became like the bigger issue in the whip speech, which was more of a rebuttal argument came into the member speech, more cohesion between how those two operate. Is it like specifically rebuttal, or is this like a, a unique extension that you're trying to talk about? But, but then also, if I'm looking at it, why is intersectionality as uniquely defined in this debate? Because I think, if anything, it could be used against you because like, it's almost so many layers of taxation then, then how do we ever solve these problems? Now, they don't say this, but like, I, I, I want to ask why you have three, but I think mean, just something to think about. I think you add a burden onto yourself that you don't want to. Like, if you think maybe you're, you're around eight and you do this and you're trying to bring it, that's probably a problem. You don't want to add on additional things that you have to defend now where I think other teams might use it against you and go, where's the line then? So we think that a few just strategic miss errors of like how you present yourself in the round is what got you into the, the back half and why the split between the, the two and the three were probably what we discussed. Because so, we think most of what, again, what kind of happened with you all is that most of what we agree with from you, we hear probably already from opening. Um, so we like what opening government does is that I really think the cool um, argument of like how the state is responsible for this and the burden the state has, I really like that. The way that you all miss up and meeting the two instead of the one is that you don't do enough rebuttal explicitly against like a lot of com what's coming out of the LO speech. And so we need a lot more in the DPM directly coming out of what the LO is saying when they talk about like like it's gonna have create backlash and tensions and we'd rather reallocate money instead of just I think your answer of like and this is like the gov answer of like it's easier to do this and literally just throw money at a problem, that's good. But I don't know if they're saying that like that's what we also advocate for. I think with like reallocating things that we already have is not like, I don't think that responds to some of their material. I think that it's a, a response in general, but I don't think it's sufficient enough to take out some of their larger issues. Because at the end of the day, if I'm asking myself, am I persuaded that like this will cause more issues if we do this than how status quo is? I think there's more on face arguments that opening opposition brings me that we're like, there are direct harms that I would be less engaged to accept to be like, viable option than like what you all are presenting. So I think that in the comparison, you need to engage in that more in the second in the second half of the speech. Because that's like really where like the one two came from is that there's a lot more that stands in, in what the opening op team is presenting. Opening op. I think that your um, speeches are pretty good. I, I thought that the arguments were the exact arguments to run. I think that you ran them effectively. I think at some point there needs to be a little bit more cohesion between both like I think the, the DLO can do more rebuilding of what the LO kind of already says instead of doing like two unique new arguments. I think that again in maybe different higher up rooms later on in the debate, I'd rather see more nuanced analysis than just new extension because again if I'm hearing already seven minutes or like four or five minutes of pretty strong material from you, let's assume that like best case they like take it down a lot more. I'd rather be more engaged with like more nuanced arguments that like why you're build it up instead of, well then here are two more reasons why you should just also on face agree that this is something that, that we should be doing. So I think that it's not that that would be the only thing I would tell you strategically to look at because I think that they probably, I think not that you not spread, but like that you have more arguments. I feel like they, it's not that those arguments are all harder to take down. I mean, if anything makes it easier to take down more arguments, especially when you have three speeches behind you to do that, you know what I mean? So I would kind of watch how that looks and build more nuance than just having additional ones. I think all the arguments made were good, but it's just prioritizing which one you think is the best one and kind of spending more time on development of that than anything else. So that's kind of how the discussion kind of went for us. If you want more you know, um, information, please let me know, and I'll be more than happy to talk to you about individualized things. So in my panels, if you all have anything to say. Great. Go on and go get some lunch. Oh, yeah, that's what we did.